Good afternoon. Welcome to daily currency update from the currency desk. On the trading session on Tuesday, we witnessed a 0.22% fall in the value of Indian rupee against the US dollar, and we witnessed a close around 54.01 levels. So this fall in the value of Indian rupee was mainly attributed to the weakness of the euro against the US dollar in the international markets. Right after market closing on Tuesday, we had news from the coalition that is the TMC Trinamool Congress has announced that it is going to withdraw its support from for the uh, UPA coalition, and uh, it's opposing mainly the Congress the UPA decision to actually increase the diesel price by rupees five and bringing in strong measures like FDI in aviation and retail. so based on these uh, political opposition which was already expected by the markets but uh, right now there is certain amount of uncertainty regarding whether the reforms will be implemented or will they not so right now the sentiments uh, are sort of sideways and we can expect the rupee to trade uh, in the range of 5480 to 5450 today that is in the spot markets and also at the same time rupee is not uh, getting any support from the global market sentiments because we have the euro consolidating after rallying up to 1.32 levels so but what is more important for the euro is that 1.3 le- uh, levels are still holding so till that time we can still uh, see support for the indian rupee that is it will not fall that much in value against the us dollar also uh, we had the HSBC flash PMI that is the manufacturing index uh, wherein the manufacturing index slightly uh, improved than the previous month lows so we have slightly better data from the chinese uh, economy this would support the indian rupee to a certain extent today against uh, very great uh, against greater falls so all in all the trend technically uh, in the dollar against the indian rupee remains bearish and uh, in the near term we recommend a sell on rise this uh, sell can be done around 54.50 levels also uh, there's market here say that 5440 would be a crucial resistance for the us dollar against the indian rupee and if this resistance surely holds one can clearly enter into short positions uh, in the dollar against the indian rupee at 5440 and uh, levels around that um, on the upper side one can maintain a stop loss of 54.76 in terms of uh, euro there has been slight uh, weakening of the euro against the us dollar this has been mainly because of the uh, report that germany is going to insist on a separate uh, banking supervision and monetary policy what this basically means at is that Germany is actually asking the European Central Bank to give up a lot of its powers and in short divide it among the more powerful countries and give uh, proportionate voting rights to the pow- powerful countries that is uh, it is uh, basically Germany and France and the uh, huge countries uh, the big big countries big economies of uh, the Euro- uh, European Union are asking for greater voting power in the union obviously in terms of important data uh, what we have is the eurozone pmi data uh, also we have the german pmi data so this is going to have a slight impact on the movement of euro against the indian rupee as well as the us dollar also uh, what would be crucial and looked upon by the markets is the new orders index and the inventory index from the european front so all in all in the euro against inr mainly due to the strength in the inr we expect uh, the trend to be downside and one can sell on rise right now uh, up till the level of level of 71 from 71 onwards uh, we can target on the downside 70.21 levels in terms of pound right now uh, the bank of england minutes were a big di- disappointment for the pound uh, also at the same time the uk economy is not doing that well as expected so all in all uh, the bank of england in its meeting kept uh, 
the key rates, key policy rates unchanged as well as uh, another uh, increase in the buyback program was also not announced. So right now uh, that is acting as slightly negative for the pound. Right now the inflation is also not uh, decreasing as much as expected. That is the rate of inflation. But despite this, uh, what markets are taking positively is the fact that uh, Bank of England has also stated in its statement that it would opt for uh, another round of asset purchase program despite uh, the inflation inflation pressures. But all in all, uh, as the pound is highly overvalued at current levels, we will witness it go down no matter if the quantitative easing is done by the Bank of England or not. So right now, uh, even in pound, the trend remains bearish and uh, one can sell at current levels with a stop loss of 89 and a target of 87.01 uh, in the spot. Also, uh, in terms of USD, JPY, from the Japanese end, we had the Bank of Japan meeting wherein they increased the uh, easing measures, that is they announced additional easing measures with a total total size of around 100, uh, 10 trillion yen. So this was slightly supportive for the dollar against the Japanese yen and uh, we saw a slight rally in the dollar against the Japanese yen. But at the same time, uh, due to the recent pressure on the exports, so we will not, uh, we'll not see much, uh, much strength in the dollar against the Japanese yen. So all in all, yen will again continue to uh, appreciate against the dollar. Also, uh, what is uh, what recently has happened is that uh, protest by the Chinese public against the Japanese uh, economy. So there's a lot of manufacturing units of Japan set up in China. So there could be impact on that uh, on the business between China and Japan as well. So this would also uh, we can expect it to hit the Japanese economy a bit. Right now in terms of the Japanese yen against the Indian rupee, the trend also remains downside. Uh, though it has already come down from higher levels, we can currently hold a short position with a stop loss of 69.66 in the spot and uh, expect a target of around 68.23 in the spot. Thank you.